Hey, welcome to How To In A Few. Ever wonder how to put a door stop on a door? I mean, maybe you have the ones that are at the bottom or one of those big rubber balls. We're in the middle of doing a little work in the house and we no longer have baseboards because uh, we're doing the walls and eventually do the flooring and then the baseboards will go back on last. So in the meantime, I don't want my door slamming into the sheetrock that I'm trying to fix. Uh, so I'm gonna install today these little door stoppers that go on the hinges. So, uh, let's check that out. Alright, so there's really not that much to it. If you buy them and open a container, there's a stopper and then an adjustable little arm there. And then a hole, which we're going to stick in our pin right here so that this rides against the door and then stops on the molding there. So the tricky part would be to get that pin out. So I'm hoping it's going to cooperate. And already it's not. Not to hit the wall. Sure, that touch this to make this yellow. Looks nasty. Alright, so there we go. It's in place now. Just a question of will it stop the door? No. So we're going to adjust this out a little bit. And the thing is, I want it to go just short of hitting the wall. Because if you, if you max it out too much, they'll push against it, and you end up putting some holes into the door, etc. here. So you just want it to... Alright, I actually already put a hole back into the wall. Alright, so that stops it. If they come in, should either barely touch or not touch. Hopefully they're not, you know, kids and other people won't be forcefully pushing it. Let me give you one more look. And there you go, that's all there is to it. Um, if you're feeling that that might be a little weak, you could also put two of them. But I'm not gonna do that today. All right, so that was a quick little video on how to put a door stop on a door either temporary or uh, permanent situation um, if you don't have door stops. Uh, hopefully that helped you out. If so, give me a thumbs up. Even if it did, give me a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button because that helps out YouTubers and keeps videos like this being posted on the internet. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.